What's up guys? Y'all know who it is. If you don't and if you're new to my channel, my name Anthony and I go by the name of 4 Second 6 Gen. And if you haven't read the title below, we're going to talk about how much insurance I pay by myself with this Camaro SS. So stay tuned and keep watching. <music> address a lot of questions I always get asked um, by friends or family and for people that's um, interested in getting this type of vehicle so um, so let's jump into this a lot of people uh, think this is a personal question me I don't find a personal question I just feel like it's a general topic since a lot of people um, talk about car insurance what they race what they compare it against the car they currently own versus this type of car and so forth uh, taking into consideration this is a performance car so i'm gonna jump straight into the facts um i'm 29 um and i pay 185 dollars a month for this camaro which is an awesome deal and that's with no that's with no co-signing that's with no parents being involved that's nothing with anything so that's pretty an awesome deal to be able to uh say for me by myself uh for me to be 29 that i am paying 185 dollars a month on a camaro ss and to keep in mind though it's a lot of factors you got to uh, put into play on the reason why i have this cost um one is the location where i stay at of course i mean the, of course the insurance rates is going to be different versus whether you're on the west coast or are you on the east coast or whether you uh on the southern part of the country and um another thing i tell people especially if you're trying to get a vehicle like this at a young age under under your 30 30s that um you need to make sure you do not get any tickets that's another reason that's another point i'm making i do not have any tickets on my name i do have more than one vehicle i have two vehicles both under my name which they take into consideration there and your driving record make sure your driving record is impeccable uh so for me being 29 i don't have any tickets i don't have any um accidents i haven't been in any um like reckless driving or any involvement uh with the police and so forth so that also contributes to the reason i have a low insurance rate so when you getting into these cars and you're seeing a lot of people put posting videos out here talking about i'm paying 130 and so forth they probably have their parents uh co-sign for them because the more vehicles you have on the same insurance plan the lower your insurance be but then again there's a lot of factors into that too uh who's whose actual name is on the account and so forth but for me i'm sharing with you guys that my name is the only one that's on here and i pay 185 a month so i'm going to jump into it show you guys the proof so let's so let's get into it so right here we in july i'm probably gonna post this in like i don't know tomorrow or so so it's already what july 22nd 24th i can't even keep up with the days but this is my last statement right here as you can see i know you can see that now i'm paying 355 for my camaro and my impala so so i'm just letting you know i'm putting the proof out there because a lot of people say i'm paying 130 but they're not showing you the proof and i feel like the proof is in the pudding so <laughs> so that's that's what this is about so right here again we paying when i say 185 or 186 chevrolet camaro and the 2011 Chevrolet is my Impala, which I talk about all the time. It's my daily driver when I'm not driving this. And then the last part you don't have to worry about, you know, if that's homeowners, that's just homeowners insurance and stuff like that. When you're staying in an apartment and you get in your house, that's just stuff that you need. So that's irrelevant. But the main thing you need to be looking at is the 186. I'm 29 in Michigan, paying 186 for a Camaro SS. And that is the same cost I hear some of my peers talk about. That's what they're paying for a, uh, a Volt or a Cruise 
So that's a pretty good deal what I'm paying for on a Camaro by myself. So I just want to make this video real short and sweet, let you guys know a little bit of info about me, about how much I'm paying for the Camaro, um, and just making sure to share with you guys that it's all right if you have your parents co-sign for it and all of that. But for me, it just I'd rather do it on my own and there's no rush for me to get something like this just to show off in front of my peers that hey I got something that's cool and try to be the coolest kid on the block because it's not worth it it's, it's more it means more worth to me when you get it on your own and that's how I look at it so thanks for watching I promise to make this video short and sweet not to ramble on and rant so if you like this video hit that like button comment below one, uh, how much you pay for insurance what type of car you drive and um we can uh you know discuss in the comments and if you like this video you know like i said check out some of my other videos you might like that and feel free to subscribe thanks for watching